what's up guys welcome back to my channel first off if you're new here make sure you smash that subscribe button that way you can join the team and click that bell so you never miss a video so today's video is going to be about finish pulling the transmission out of this Buick I've been procrastinating and taking way too long so first I'm gonna start by removing the starter and then the torque converter bolts and then after that the transmission lines and then I got like two harnesses I forgot to unplug last time so I'll get those and after that we can drop the cradle well I gotta undo the mounts for the engine and the transmission and then while I'm dropping the cradle I got one more bolt in the rack and pinion to get out I can't get to it now so I'm gonna drop the cradle down some and then after that, bell housing boats, and then we can drop it out. So, let's get to it. Alright guys, got the starter out. So you got two wires. This was the big cable, which was a 13 millimeter. And then the little one is an 8 millimeter. And then you have two bolts that hold it in that go up from the bottom. Obviously one is way longer than the other. And those were a 15 millimeter. So now that I got that out. I can get to these torque converter bolts. So, let's get to that.
those tranny lines out. Make sure you don't lose these clips that hold the line in place. Cause last time I lost one of those and I couldn't find a replacement, I actually had to go to the junkyard and pull one off of a used line. So, I mean, I'd say you could buy them, but I sure couldn't find them. All right, we're gonna let this drain for a little while and then we'll see what's next. All right, guys, I noticed I didn't record that, so. <laughs> you slide these plastic covers off of them and then in here where these lines go in there's these little grooves and they have those little clips in them you take a hook or a pick pull those little clips out and then the lines will just pull out which they were rusty and corroded a little hard to pull out but that's all there is to it Sorry, I didn't record that. So, for the transmission mount, I just decided to do these two nuts because I can't get in here to get these top bolts on this bracket. I'll just take that off once I get it out. So there's that. Now the engine mount.
brace for the tranny. Alright guys. So I noticed there's a bracket. Can't really see what I'm looking at here. There's a bracket there, it has three bolts in it. It bolts to the block, runs to the transmission. So I went ahead and got that, took those loose. We'll take the old bracket off with it. And then over here, there was a stud bolting these two power steering lines down. I had to harness on top of it. With this thing. So I got that done. Tried every which way to get to this power steering bolt in there. But I can't fit anything in there to get to it. And I noticed I can't really drop the cradle to make room. Because it'll just hit the transfer case here. But I'm going to try. And uh, so. That. The cradle. And uh, bell housing bolts. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get the bell housing bolts. And I might just try to drop it out with the cradle. So. Let's do that. Alright guys. Looking at the other transmission here. There's one. Two, three, four, five, six bolts. And I noticed this one goes in backwards instead of this direction. So I gotta remember that. That's the one towards the firewall on the back. So might be a pain in the arse to get. So let's give it a shot. Okay. So the first two on the front side, the bottom and the middle, are studs. <coughs> they have ground wires. So you gotta remember that when you
are one more the one that's backwards I might have to get it from underneath let me check all right guys I got the bolt out the one that goes in backwards this is the contraption I had to use honestly I could have used a couple of more half inch extensions or longer ones but I'm on the passenger side I had to feed it through all the way through there it was pain in the arse but now that I have them all I have everything except for this one bolt and this rack and pinion and it's completely unbolted from the engine so it's just sitting against it so I need to put something under the engine brace it up and then start unbolting the cradle so here we go Alright guys, so I gotta remove this so I can get to that bolt. It's all Phillips screws. So let's do that. Drop down enough that I got the bolt out of the rack and pinion, but I couldn't get it out of this loop here. Yeah, you know, it's like a loop that wraps around it. So I tried dropping the transmission some and it wasn't working. So I had to unbolt the display bar on one side and pull it over and lift the cradle up after I dropped it down some up over it and then pry it over so now I just got it sitting back on the spindles holding it up so now let's drop it guys she's pretty much out so what it was that was holding it is the dipstick I forgot to unbolt the dipstick there's also a metal line over here I probably should unhook air pliers there but I gotta brace the engine up a different way so I can slide it all up so I'll be back all right guys so i'm gonna call it a wrap it's starting to get dark she's pretty much out she's sitting on the ground like i said just gotta brace the motor no way i can slide it out use a cherry picker but on that note oh, if you like the videos smash that like button don't forget to subscribe and uh stay tuned for putting one back in bye